Greetings, everybody, and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm your host, Captain Rye, and today I've got some World of Warships action. I hope all of you had a wonderful, glorious long weekend if you were in the United States. Of course, it was Memorial Day. And here on Memorial Day, we got the wonderful USS Indianapolis um, Premium Tier 7 cruiser for the U.S. line. Picked it up. Super happy with that ship. Then again, I really did like the Pensacola, so it's right up my alley. Anyway, what I've got for you is a battle in my turpits. Uh, this is patch 0.5.6, and uh, mostly we'll be taking a look at a lot of the UI changes uh, here to the game. And, of course, we'll be looking at some of the uh, battle itself on a brand new map to the patch. First things first, you'll notice down on the mini-map that they've added a significant number of changes. They've added your primary battery range, your secondary weapon, uh, torpedo range for ships that have them, Prior to this patch, it would only ever show you one or the other. It wouldn't show you both at the same time. So whatever weapon you was selected to fire was what was shown on your minimap. It also shows you your detectability range both before and after firing, as well as if you're on fire or um, highlighted by aircraft. And that is actually really, really cool. Now, the base detectability range, in my opinion, really doesn't matter. Because if you're playing a full concealment ship, you should probably know what your detectability range is going into it anyway. Where it does matter is when you fire your guns. For instance, I did not know that my detectability range jumped to 23 kilometers as soon as I fired my guns. I do now. Um, but on a ship that's not playing a concealment build, I really don't see any reason why that should be added. I am happy, though, that it is added. <clears throat> It'll uh, really, really help some of the new players. Domination mode on a brand new map. I can't, for the life of me, remember the name of this map, because I've only played it like three times. I do like this map, though. It's uh, really, really kind of a pretty map to look at, and it's got a lot of islands to hide behind. If you're a mid-tier U.S. destroyer, this map is really going to be right up your alley. Or even in U.S. battleships, this map's going to be right up your alley because there's a lot of islands for you to hide behind. And just in general, you know, you can sneak up on the enemy or at least get close without taking too much damage before you can finally just waylay into them. I'm heading over to the east side of the map here, going into the uh, cap zone. I've got planes incoming, but I'm not too concerned about them. I've got my turpits uh, specced for AA, so <laughs> I'm pretty much going to chew anything up that uh, comes at me that's equal or lower tier. Enemy destroyers popped up! I've got plenty of support. I'm contemplating torpedoing him. Do put my torpedoes out. Probably should not have, considering allies right up there. Doesn't matter anyway. He's dead. <laughs> I got a Pepsi Cola back over there. I'm gonna go ahead and shoot at him. Taking some fire from him. He's not doing too much damage. Terrible RNG spread on those guns. But, you know, what are you going to do? 
Oh. Oh wait, my bad. This isn't domination mode. It's a standard battle mode. Well, I probably thought it was domination mode when I started playing it, because uh, it had several vodka cocktails at that point. <laughs> a little bit more inebriated than I wanted to be playing this battle. Still ended up being a really good battle. So, pushing here, I've got the Pensacola. You know, he's he's spotted. I fire off torpedoes, figuring he might cut that island. He's gonna sail, if he continues going, he's gonna sail right into my uh, torpedoes. Forward guns are ready to go. Shots out there. And look at that double citadel for so much damage. <laughs> Watch the chat, because he's going to be like, Turpitz, oh my god. <laughs> uh, uh, another citadel, and he's dead. There's two. Wow. <laughs> that poor Pensacola just melted. Melted beneath my guns. <laughs> oh! Well, who's next? <laughs> um, in the new patch update, they've added the new port, the Japanese port, and I have to say, I really, really like that port. Prior to this patch, that port was available in a mod pack, and I think some of the UI changes were also available in the mod pack. Um, but I don't use mods. Mostly because I just don't want to spend the time to go find them, download them, install them in the correct location, and then have to reinstall or uninstall them and download the new version every time Wargaming updates their game. So instead, I just play with the vanilla game. So Wargaming wants to add some of these cool features? Alright, hey, I'm all for that. It works for me. If not, I'm not going to be concerned with it. <clears throat> Shots out at this New Mexico. Did some good damage to him. But unfortunately due to some uh, poor, poor RNGesus. I mean, just look at that shell spread. Oh, that was terrible. Guns out. Uh, torpedo planes incoming. Again, specced for anti-aircraft, so... <laughs> This, uh, this carrier is not having a good time. He, he's, he's trying very hard, and I commend him for that effort. And he must be used to people playing the Turpets either as a concealment or something else. But not as an AA spec, so... <laughs> Just chew up his planes. That New Mexico, still alive. Still alive, and I'm not going to get the kill on him. And it really disappoints me. Yeah, see? So close. I did shoot down more of that carrier's planes, but he is going to get two solid torpedo hits on me. Didn't cause any flooding, though, so that's really poor RNG on his part. The New Mexico's down. My team is winning pretty handedly right now. We're down three ships, but the enemy team's down six ships. So we're just going to push forward into their base. I'm kind of sniping at long range here before I decide where I want to go. There's still an enemy destroyer somewhere out there, and so I do have to be careful that he doesn't end up um, torpedoing me by surprise. Here's another cool change that they've added to the game. You'll see this little mountain icon will pop up when my reticule is targeting the mountain. This is really, really nice. Because now when you're fully zoomed in and you're zoomed over the mountain, that little mountain icon will pop up to tell you that your guns are going to hit the mountain instead of hitting the targeted ship behind it. Finally! Finally, finally, finally. 
No more seeing a ship, shooting at it, zooming back out and watching all of my shots hit the top of a mountain or just plant right into it. <laughs> now, just destroyed an enemy cruiser. He was already pretty low health, but he did give me broadside. It took a couple of shots to try and get him. I have an enemy, I think that's a North Carolina, coming at me, so I'm going to go ahead and get some torpedoes off here, get some torpedo beats playing, and uh, dodge the CV. Now, those first set of torpedoes, I think they're all going to miss. He was sailing directly into them. He was going to basically sail right into them. He turned away. So, they're all going to miss. And now, I don't have any torpedoes on this side, so if I want to torpedo him, i got to turn completely around. Have an island blocking my way, so I'm not going to be able to do anything to him, at least for a little bit. Still, though, the UI changes really do, you know, make this far, far easier to, you know, see when you're going to hit something. And when you're just going to hit an island. So, again, closing in on this North Carolina. Torpedoes on the other side, out and away. He's turning towards me. So, this is really going to slow him down. Just did some massive damage there with a Citadel. And, yeah, my torpedoes look like they're on point this time. They really do. That aircraft carrier has still been harassing me, and just look how many planes I've shot down. Oh, that poor North Carolina. He's on fire, he's flooding, he's pretty much dead. I get the kill for that. I think he died from flooding. But I got the kill right when I fired my gun, so I actually thought I killed him with my main guns. It wasn't until later when I looked at the recording that I realized that I had not. Fourth kill. Looking for that Kraken. There's two enemy ships left. And this Fuso is giving me a nice, juicy broadside. Get all my guns pointed in that direction. Get that full broadside out. Do a little tactical beaching on the sinking hull of <laughs> that enemy North Carolina. There's my high caliber great citadel penetrations basically take that Fuso to half strength. Shot's almost up again. That Fuso's shooting, but I... Yeah, he's shooting at me. He's not doing very good damage to me, though. Shot's out. Another citadel. Another penetration. He's so close to dead, I want this kill. So I type into all chat, my kill. I don't want anybody to take this kill for me, because I want that Kraken unleashed. And of course, what does my team do? <laughs> there are shots coming in to try and kill secure my kill. <laughs> Doesn't matter, got the kill anyway, finished him off, there's Kraken unleashed. We're capping, and oh hello, there's the enemy aircraft carrier who has been harassing me non-stop this whole match. Well, he's broadside on. You know what they say about broadside on. That's a paddling. He's taking fire from that cruiser up ahead. He's dishing it back. But let's see if I can get the kill. Uh, shots out. Yep. Citadel penetration. Enemy killed. Six kills. Half the enemy team. High caliber. And Kraken unleashed. Look at that. Now, look at this new UI. It tells you your total damage. Again, this was only previously available if you had a mod. Now, it tells you your total damage. Really happy about that. You can see the details and the team score. Nothing has changed there. But this tab is new. This shows you all the enemy ships you damaged and how much damage you did. Prior to this, if you remember the old UI, 
didn't have that. It just showed you what ships you damaged, but not how many you damaged or what kind of damage you've done. This also shows you, in pink, if you've got any team damage. Uh, the look at the credits and XP earn, super detailed. Also, it now finally shows you your auto-consumable charges. Before, it didn't have that in there. It would just show you ammunition and repair costs off your total base, and then when you got back to port, you would wonder why you had less credits than it showed, because you would auto-resupply your premium consumables. Anyway, folks, I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful week. Uh, just as an additional little tidbit, if you have seen me on the World of Warships subforum or the Lego subforum, I now have a Patreon account for the, uh, for my Lego Warship builds. The link is in the description below. Feel free to go there, download some of these LDD files, and support me with my uh, Lego model building, and hopefully someday I'll be able to produce an actual model that I can take on tour. Anyway, this is Captain Rye, signing off.